Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. and go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? So cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this! Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other... Hey, Olivia, we're going to the order for a reason, okay? And that reason is because they'll know what to do. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're going to get Alagard, get her to help us, and we're going to save the world! I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> Jesse, what to choose? Seriously? Fishing? to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow! Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible! Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us?
know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Can you give her a message? Please. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look. This is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Of course, you might also want to hang on to it. Okay, sure. That would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Hello. Why, hey there. I'm Sandy, and what you see before you is the future. The future kind of looks like a lump of slime blocks. Ah, don't let the looks deceive you. This here is a genuine flying machine. Flying machine, huh? Does it actually fly? You better believe it, but uh, only straight up for now. Wow, so I guess you don't mind heights then. I'd be a little scared going way up in the sky like that. Ha, yeah. Scared? Who's scared? I'm not scared of heights at all. I'm lying. I'm totally terrified of them. And yet you want to fly? What can I say? The heart wants what the heart wants. Any chance you've got a spare repeater? Sorry, no dice. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. Well, good chatting with you, but I better get back to work. Those skies aren't going to explore themselves. <laughs> Stupid cow launching. <laughs> <clears throat> 
You must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that! Sheesh. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. Oh man, I bet you could make a lot of cookies with all that. Level with me. Do you just make cookies like all the time? Huh, I, I might make a cookie or two. Yeah, you do. I love cookies. don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. Hello there, I- Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowpult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, be astounded! Let your wonders be compounded! Hey, that farmer over there sent me? The one with all the sugar cane? Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all of the cow palting is really bothering her. Do you think you could... stop? Oh, well she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. Come on, isn't this beneath you? You've already perfected the cowapult, clearly. Shouldn't you start turning your attention to new pursuits? You actually make a lot of sense, friend. Maybe it is time to find my next masterpiece to be. Huh, thanks for helping me get my head right. Hmm, maybe a Tremu Shay next. Maybe that guy has something I could use. Oh man, stone! Jackpot! That's some nice stone. Still warm. Hi there! Wh what Look, you're gonna have to speak up there! Oh! I just said hi! Much better! What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. Theoretically. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. I can do this. 
Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Done! Pretty nice. If I may compliment myself. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Bam, door opened. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Elagard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. What are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. It looks like I can adjust the settings on this thing. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. <laughs> Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh-huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients, it must be something really, really big. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them, but I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving. Lava curtain. That's awesome. This close to meeting Eligard. Getting excited? Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. Hmm. Are those that? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. You doing all right? Yeah, you and me both, buddy. Thank you. 
is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Whoa, hi, hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Just got the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <gasps> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jessie, she thinks we're her new assistants. This is so exciting. Eligard! No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you! Goggle Girl, switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy, grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Uh, Miss Eligard? Yes? I'm very sorry, but I'm sort of concentrating on something here. Hence the dome of... Anyway. Eligard, it is such an honor to meet you. Aw, aren't you sweet? Let me know when you're done with the task I gave you, okay? Okay. Delivery circuit is on. Blaze rod, iron block. Rod. It's all tingly. Just what the engineer ordered. Uh, Eligard? I got those things you asked for. Ah, excellent. Fantastic. Love it. Always happy to have a capable set of hands around. Carrying materials, disposing of fainted assistants, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Excuse me? Excuse me. Could you please not lie on my floor anymore? Someone's gonna trip over you while carrying lava, and it's gonna be such a mess. Lava everywhere. And boy, nothing gets lava out. Nothing. Except more lava. I don't think that I've ever fainted before. I was just so excited to meet you, and... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> I could see that. Well, that seems a little unfair to blame Olivia. It's not her fault that she was so excited. How in the world did she get this assistant position in the first place? Well, that's the thing. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who... who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. <laughs> I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory with a side of sweet, sweet redstone engineering. You're trying to make a command block. Let me help you. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. So yeah, we've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. 
the world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. Long time. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing, or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Don't you understand? That sounds perfect. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here, in my brain. I could help, too. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Jesse? Is that you? Lucas! Hey! We're back! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. I'm so glad to see you. Did anyone else get away? Were there any other survivors? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Everyone just coming and going around here. Holy crap. I can't believe it. That's Magnus the Rogue. Oh, I always forget that there are people that actually like seeing that idiot. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? Hey, Eligard is cool. And she's going to help stop this wither storm. Ellie? <laughs> cool? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, wait, wait, you're, you're serious? Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's, uh, whoo, ha, oh, boy. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Way to go, Axel. Well, it wasn't easy. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament and- Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. I'll never understand your fans. Eligard, come on. I know this isn't how the plan was supposed to go, but it's going to be fine. Ha! Fine. Uh, people... Can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. Little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? 
You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? Hey! Hey! Yes, it's scary. But it's nothing we can't handle, all right? We're gonna do this. Okay? How? Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. Wait, Magnus, I want to hear what she's saying. Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never it's seen it. It's real. Before. I swear. Uh huh. This thing sounds impossible. How could it even exist? Impossible objects were Soren's specialty. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Hey, Olivia. You okay? I'm alright. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm alright. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. How does Petra seem to you? Not great, I guess. But she has been through a lot. Yeah. But you saved her. You did an amazing thing, Jesse. Light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. So he'll help us, right? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Oh. That's not good. That's Ivor! 
Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. It's so bad that you're going to just go waltzing out in the woods at night. It's not night yet. We'll just go as fast as we can. I think Magnus might be right. And he's not usually a big fan of safety. Of course you'd pick his side. I don't want to risk being outside when it gets dark. We should wait till morning, so we can have a full day of sunlight. Jesse here is talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but... Fine. Okay, everyone. Rest up. We'll head out at first light, all right? I appreciate you giving us a chance to rest, Jesse. I hate to admit it, but I needed this. Yo! We haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh! Hello. So, you're Ellie's protege? <laughs> She's a piece of work, isn't she? Always thinking about all her redstone stuff. Always trying to show off how smart she is. I gotta ask, what's up with you guys? Why do you fight so much? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We've been in too many tight situations together, and we've just never gotten along. Different strokes and all that. You know. Anyway, thanks for having my back before. I do appreciate it. How you liking being the leader of this little pack? I know I haven't been around here long, but even I can tell there's some unrest in the ranks. Ha! Huh. Especially between Axel and, uh, what's her name? Uh, Olivia. Me and my team are the best. We can get through anything. Huh. Wish my gang had that kind of commitment. Hope you're right. Anyway, small fry, let's get some sleep. We've got a long walk ahead of us in the morning. sure how the rest of you are feeling, but I feel fantastic. I think that a little sleep is just what I needed. <laughs> Wish I felt as good as you sound. I'm still feeling a little under the weather. Uh, guys? This is exactly what I was afraid of. It caught up with us. Holy snack burglars! You weren't kidding. No. Not again. Well, we can hash that out later, because we've got some monsters to fight here, people.
Soren really live down here? It's so far from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! <laughs> Just... don't fall, okay? <sighs> oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Endermen. There's so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Thanks for coming back, Lucas. I mean that. <laughs> walks away. That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Looks like Olivia's working up more plans, as usual. Petra doesn't look so good. Hey, Petra. Hey. You okay? I'm glad he came along. Even if it did take a bit of persuading. Dream come true for Lucas. Look at him. He's loving it. Petra, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. But let's split up. I 
feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. And Axel can get a little explodey sometimes. It'll be fine. Thanks for being so understanding. got me away from the wither storm but i'm worried that i didn't get away soon enough what it showed up not too long after you saved me what happened the wither made you sick do you know what wither is the wither of course we've been no jesse just wither or wither sickness i guess I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're going to go back and tell the others. We can get help! You can't tell anyone about this. <gasps> ah! Creeper! Ah! Grab my hand, I'll pull you up! Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Are you okay? Go and find the others. Hopefully, you can find a way to get down to me or something. Okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. <laughs> Must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. Soren, is that you? <clears throat> you trying to interfere with my plans again? I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here, so now you may find it back out again immediately. I found the rest of the Order. What good will that do? I'm here with the Order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're going to take down your Witherstorm. The Order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Sorry, Ivor. I'm... Oh, you're not going. Anyway. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? <laughs> ah, foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. Ah. I'm not letting you ah. either. Good. I'm the only one who can stop the wither storm! Not you, not the order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. You're not going 
anyone. Ah! This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> I'm like the wind! Wait, Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let him leave. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh. End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. This one's on you, you puffed up fool! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. Query, have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? What? That they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell.